Hello friends! Welcome to Read With Me Kids. Today we're going to be reading The Whale Who Wanted More by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. If you have this book at home, please go and get it now and we can read along together. Get comfy and let's begin! Under glittering waves of a vast ocean blue, a beautiful world is hidden from view. And there, in the cool and the quiet of the deep, a great gentle giant was stirring from sleep. With a hubbub of bubbles, he opened one eye and let out a long, lonely, rippling sigh. For when Humphrey awoke, he remembered his quest, one that pulled at his heart and pressed at his chest. A life-longing search for, he didn't know what, he just knew it was something he hadn't yet got. He'd rifled in shipwrecks and rooted through treasure, scooped pretty shells which he'd polished for pleasure. But whether his hull was enormous or tiny, the next day it just never seemed quite as shiny. So he never felt satisfied, that was for sure. And no matter the bounty, he just wanted more. But the more he amassed, the more lonesome he got. He knew it was wrong, but he just couldn't stop. So he drifted without any sense of direction, till his wanderings washed him, one day, to perfection, a rainbow of reefs kissed with speckles of sun where all kinds of critters hang out and had fun. There were glistening fishes, crustaceans galore. There were mollusks and dugongs and urchins and more. The coral was studded with flotsam and jetsam. Humphrey just wanted to dive in and get some. Meanwhile, on this reef, once a magical home, chaos and trouble, it bubbled and foamed. Since with so many creatures all crammed in one place, there were too many neighbors and not enough space. They all bickered and snippered, they pushed and they shoved, and so did not notice the shadow above. Except one, with a curious talk of an eye, which luckily always gazed up at the sky. A crab with quick wit and a brilliant mind, Crystal was smart and eternally kind. Look up, Crystal shouted. Look up and look out. The whale who wants more is out and about. But all were so busy with one gripe or another. They hadn't got time to look out for each other. So Humphrey, he plunged in the noise of the brawl to fill up his longing once and for all. Help, they all screamed gripped by panic and fear, but as everyone froze, Crystal's thinking was clear. Whale, Crystal shouted, whale, you must stop. She yelled it so loud that she thought she might pop. You are the whale who always wants more, but what are you really wanting it for? Well, Humphrey was utterly taken aback. This feisty young crab stopped him still in his trap. He thought very hard, for the first time in years, as he gathered his voice, so he fought back some tears. I don't know, whispered Humphrey. I think that my goal was to feel all filled up and, well, happy and whole. You know, replied Crystal, I think you might find that happiness comes when you're caring and kind. Perhaps, she suggested, with one pincer uncurled. You might have a gift you could give to the world. Humphrey, he hung on her every word, and deep in his soul a melody stirred. He remembered a lullaby taught by his mother, echoed through time from one whale to another. I was given one gift when I was brand new, but I've never had someone to give that gift to. Then he opened his mouth, let go of his doubt and an achingly beautiful tune tumbled out. The turtles, they circled, the dolphins were playing, even the seaweed was dancing and swaying. And as harmony touched everyone who was there, 
They remember that balance takes patience and care. They'd been fighting and poking and griping so long. They'd forgotten they all sang the same ocean song. Humphrey, he knew then he wanted to stay. As at last, all his longings, they had faded away. From then, all was rhythm and peace on the reef. For one clever young crab, it was quite a relief. She befriended the whale, who perfected the knack of taking the time to give some things back. Yes, that whale stopped collecting and made a great start at doing the things that filled up his heart. So perhaps true contentment is not about stuff, since we all need so little to have quite enough. The end.